Is it adds a lot of mobility to their lineup um, and also helps defend towers. I think Keeper of the Light is the best hero to stall five out the game from a 4 or 5 position because he's he also gives you a better split pushing advantage. You're going to have Clockwork Beastmaster trying to run all over the map and catch the these Lone Druids and Queen of Pains when they're split pushing. These are your two cores that will do the most damage um, when it comes to split pushing. So the, the Coddle just gives them that extra edge. Do you guys feel that this will make the Earthshaker a 3, or is Kuro playing as a 5? Uh, I would say 5 for now. Okay. Oh, oh. And Kuro could not play the Keeper of the Light with the GH still in the Earthshaker? He can. We've seen Kuro play Keeper, uh, but he plays it much more like how Ake would or Faith would from <clears throat> Chinese teams, which is much more sacrificial. It does not hit the 20-minute Axe timing, no. and therefore very ineffective. Um, compared to how Team Liquid runs it in the past. So so how do you feel like, is, is Secret going to go for a fast game here? The heroes that they've got so far? Like, do they need that 20-minute Aghanim Scepter? For Liquid? Yeah. I think that's always plan A. I mean, look at the push, right? Once you get Axe on Keeper, you are able to take Raxus with the bear in the front line, mm -hmm. with the Illuminate heals in the back. Uh, in terms of how Team Secret could react to it, they have a draft that could play a very fast game or because Gyro and Beastmaster fights very well, or they could play it very slowly and getting stacks for the Gyro. So I think for Team Secret, they have pretty good ways to react depending on these final picks. All right, we got a Viper ban by them. Uh, okay. So they are thinking that this Queen of Pain is once again on the offlane. Yeah, what, what's a good pushing hero for Secret? Because you can't run Death Prophet. Uh, that was, that was my suggestion earlier, but you've got Earthshaker and Queen of Pain, really good burst he heroes against DP, so that's a little rough. Um, Liquid's lineup is the most interesting, just because they have so many ways to run this. Lone Joy could go mid or safe lane, they can run Queen of Pain mid or off lane, they mm -hmm. can go Earthshaker off lane or 5 position or 4 position. By the way guys, the, the score, we know it's wrong, but... Uh... Oh, okay. You yeah, know, liquid. everybody knows that Liquid just won. So you can ignore that. Everybody. For the next <laughs> everybody apart from the people that didn't watch the previous game. Got him. <clears throat> but are we waiting for the last ban of, uh, of Team Liquid? What could they be going for? Um, is what this a they good Bloodseeker game? Let's see. They banned our Bloodseeker previous game <clears throat> at this point. Probably not. I think you need a mid hero like a stand in front and counter push. <clears throat> Lena can counter push, but not less so like stand in front. Dragonite again is always a good filler. The filler pick. <laughs> is there a better? Are we talking about Team Secret? You push yeah. power for them. Oh, I was looking. Yeah, Team Secret. Okay. Defending Team themselves against the other side. What? What do they ban? Sniper. Okay. Uh, I thought about Sniper, but I think they just have they have enough gap closures for that, so I'm a little bit surprised that Sniper was the ban. It would give them a, a cheap high ground hitter, though. Ten That's seconds, what they kind of need right now, right? Because Beastmaster does give you the pushing power for most of the other towers, but you don't have Five a true carry remaining. that um, gives you that added strength that Beastmaster is going to be amping up. Gyrocopter is a really bad tower hitter traditionally team secrets, turn and it will be Morana for team liquid what if they razored them or something mm. no you don't like razor i'm not sure what i like what would be the ultimate mid one hero for this draft Ten what do they need so they need they don't need a little bit they they have enough push they have catch five seconds remaining Maybe an Ember Spirit or something just to get up in their face. Yeah. Lot. Catch the Queen of Pain and Lone Druid as much as possible. What lanes well against the uh, Marana? Drow Ranger. Oh my Ranger. god, it's a oh. Drow Strat. What? Is it? Dude. All right. I... Uh, <laughs> You're picking Drow Ranger into a pushing lineup. Like, <laughs> I don't get this at all. Uh, this this is, is a very genius pick, but I. Uh, sure. Yeah, this is cool. Uh. This is cool. So, so is it going to be Murana versus Drow mid? I think maybe Gyrocopter goes mid with the max rocket build, but we'll see. Rocket got a lot worse what. as a mid build <clears throat> now, though, because you can't push them back. Like, it doesn't do any extra damage, right? And uh, yeah. but you're right. Mid one is picking up the Gyrocopter. So, 
the question comes, Lumi. Do you feel like Liquid can do or Secret can do it with this draft? Can they tie the series? No. <laughs> I, no. I don't I don't believe in this Drow Ranger pick at all. I, I feel like it takes too long to come online. Drow Ranger needs a good lane. Team Secret could also just go offensive against the Drow Ranger. Okay. They have the heroes for that. I, I don't know about this secret pick at all. Okay, you're going for Liquid then. Yeah. Cap, what do you reckon? Uh I kinda like it. Uh just cause it I like the pace that Team Secret is trying to set oh, against a lone druid. Curl's playing Keeper instead of G. I'll I'll take Team Secret this time. Okay. Even though he got whomped. I was gonna say they got whomped so hard. I, eh, kind of, that kind of puts me. It's off. a big risk. I'm going for Liquid this time. We'll see though. I was wrong previous time as well. Doesn't say anything after all. Let's find out what's gonna happen with Ori Pixel and Fog. Thank you very much, Shiva. Yes, game two now. Team Secret versus Team Liquid. I'm Odie Pixel. I'm here with Fogged. And I need to sneeze. Oh, that, oh. I'm trying not to. Ah, oh, brain slug. Okay. <sighs> All right, I got it. I, I held it in. All right. I'm good. Here we have it. And uh, Fog, we have a mid one gyro cocktail. We do have a mid one gyro. This is going to be an interesting one. More about the gyro. I wanted to talk about how Secret first two picked the clockwork. And yep. what I was looking at is Liquid, they pick Queen of Pain. Then they pick Lone Druid. Okay. Then they pick Coddle, and then they pick Mirana. So three of these heroes can easily escape from the Clockwork Cogs. Coddle, when you have six, you can Blinding Light and push the Clockwork out. So I'm thinking Yapster is going to have a little bit of a rough one in this game. And I think it's really important for him to have a good game to set the tempo for Secrets lineup. Because, I, I, yeah, I think they're, they're going to struggle a bit. Even though we've seen Liquid this, this draft, it's not as an aggressive as a draft as we usually do from Liquid. This is the slow, methodical death. Yeah, absolutely. We might have been on that, that Lone Druid this time. The bears instead of the wolves. And they're going to be doing the roaming shaker and coddle this time around. And this is you know, staple liquid. Leave Matu alone in that top lane in a one versus one. He tends to do just fine. I mean, how does that one versus one play out as well? If it, if it does stay as just one, we want the Beastmaster versus Lone Druid. Surely that's it's pretty good for Matu, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'd say I'd say that matchup is easier than the Lycan the Timber, isn't begins. it? Or would you say no? I mean, he'll, he'll farm. He'll farm yeah. perfectly fine. It, I mean, he'll, he tends to farm on majority of his heroes. It's once it gets level 5, the Beastmaster gets really bullied. Okay. Beast should farm decently well versus uh, Lone Druid in the laning phase, though, for the first few, because you have such high base damage. And with the axes, it's, it makes it a lot easier for him to get those last hits. Yeah, let's, let's talk about this mid lane. So mid one on the Gyrocopter. How is he going to do against the, this, the, the Miracle Mirana? I feel this this can't be easy, surely, for a Gyrocopter. He's got Drowera. Oh, sure. Okay. So that that's something. Yeah, and he can force the lane out a little bit better because of Flak early. Okay. Mironic doesn't get Starfall till like level 3 slash 4. But GH is always going to sit around mid, throw fissures, they're going to try to connect with arrows. So I think I think mid one will struggle because of that. And I mean, Kuroki's even making the way down as well. But So I've actually been curious about this with Shakers, is if, if people are going to be starting to block off with my control, might be able to have to force Blink. Yeah. Uh, if people were going to start blocking offlane as Shaker, and this game, GH did block the offlane. So just making sure that my control can actually get something out of this lane, since it's a really hard one for him now, since they're putting a full tri lane down versus him. Yeah, he's doing his best to try and hang around and soak XP, keeping himself <laughs> hidden in the tree line, but yeah, Secret heavily hunting for him down there. Do you see uh, Kuro and GH? Kuro's literally just shockering GH, <laughs> and he's just spamming fissures in mid lane. I mean, I think they know that this lane, it's, it's a gyro mid. This, surely this is very abusable. This is a hero that very rarely stands his own in a, in, a, in a solo situation, let alone being in the mid lane. Bottom lane, mind control, getting gone on some good cast bounces here. Fisher from GH trying to buy some time to get out. So, time to get out, but it's, it's not going to be the case. They get the first put by taking down mind control. You know, Maybe GH they can get a second as well with the Maledict from Puppy. Yeah, GH, he's almost certainly going to pop. Off he goes, accepts his fate. Puppy with the double kill. Can they get more? I mean, Yabstor, seven seconds until he has the, the battery cell, but Puppy with some good body blocks, could buy the time to set this one up. And with the right clicks that this Witch Doctor does early game, Rip. I think this might just be a triple kill for Puppy, and it is okay. indeed. Two minutes in, triple kill for Puppy. He was not happy and with game one. And Yabstor's out. And he's coming back with vengeance. What a way to start for the Witch Doctor there, Fog. Very nicely done by Secret there. Look how much gold he's got. 900 gold straight up in the bank account, 200. Two minutes in, he is a, a very rich witch doctor. The tri lane is really strong by secret. That's something they do have to be careful about. Witch doctor, clockwork, draw ranger. Witch doctor already yep. has one of the highest right clicks as a support. Throw on a drawer on top there. It's very lovely. 
And put GH back down here. He's got his eyes on Puppy. Puppy spots the Maledict. And GH has got to be careful, as you say. Maledict's in a few right clicks. So uh, not something to scoff at. You've got to respect that. Ace to see us at the moment looking very good as well in the drought. 12 for 9. Keeping the denies high. And the XP low for Liquid. Liquid trying to move in there. Got three heroes here. But look at this wraparound from Yapso. He's trying to come in from the backside. Again, the cast. Maledict is down onto GH. GH does get the Fisher off. But he, can he get out of this one? Yapsaw has to go around the Fisher. He's going to be able to get the cold. And he catches Kuro. Him back and indeed, uh, Kuro, I don't know if he's getting out of this one either. Battery Assault brings him low. Yapsaw doesn't want to dive the tower. Turns towards the bigger kill potentially. Looking for Mind Control. Mind Control will survive. Puppy has to back up. He's out of mana. But again, this bottom lane, this try lane for Seek from Seeker. Looking absolutely terrifying. Miracle? Mid lane. He's dead. Oh my goodness. The mid flag one, hit. mid gyrocopter. Getting a solo kill on Miracle Marana. I mean, this is secret. You could tell they were not content with being beat down as hard as they were in game one. And this game two, they are striking back with some incredible force and pace. They've got to, they've got to keep the pace up. Yeah. That's the important thing. Like we said, Liquid's lineup is more about like this methodical kind of thing. But 2K advantage already secret. <laughs> and Yapsor is doing incredibly well on the clockwork. Very good hero versus Coddle and Earthshaker in the laning phase. Just being able to close the gap. They can't really get their spells off. Pretty easy grabs. How's Matu doing in top lane there? Getting a couple boar kills, so he's a little bit ahead of in the experience department. And he is level 5 now, so this is where Fada starts to get punished a bit more. Surprising, surprised that Miracle died to that, though. He literally just got flacked and missiled. Look at this up top. Root from Masu. They managed to outplay Fada. Fisher blocks there from GH Liquid. Get themselves the, the first kill on the board. The bait by Matu. Putting the bear... Very, very low. Or the uh, Lone Druid Barrier. So that Fada gets baited. I mean, and we are seeing this in the middle lane, you said, not only with the flat cannon pushing the, the wave out, but it, it's not fun for Miracle. He's constantly taking these extra hits from an incredible range. And homing I mean, missile harassment as well, it's, it's really doing it. This mid gyro proving to be very strong against a hero as, uh, as squishy in the early stages, effectively, as, as this Marana is. In the past, people have like tried this mid yeah. gyro with the missile, but the missile is so slow you could just like, pretty much kill it before it hit you. But now, you can't kill that missile before it gets onto you. So yeah, he's doing quite well. Miracle still a tiny bit ahead, but mid one is ahead because of that kill. Up top, Fada. As soon as he's dived yeah. once, it happens again. This combo, GH and Matuma Man, very scary for, I mean, would be for the, for the majority of any melee offlaners. This Liquid. Beastmaster can't come out too far, otherwise he gets caught out. If they get a root, they could go for this. Is there a Fisher? They do. They've got the stick charges and the Fisher. There's the root as well. Puppy. It's going to get taken out. I mean, they need this top lane to be going. I mean, like Matuma Man is, is absolutely dominating now. He's got 2 0 1, three kills in the last. Literally in the last minute, he's been getting that. No. It's getting absolutely crazy. What we like to call Matu the Rock. Always just. When his team struggles in other lanes, he always has that incredibly good laning phase. Bottom lane ace. Getting a good amount of hits onto mind control. Here's mind control trying to trade a bit of harassment and ace. I'll tell you what as well. Look at this man, CS4. Yes, well, six minutes in, 34-29. I, I don't, I don't think he's missing. Many. I was going to say, has he missed any creep? This is an. This has got to be an incredibly high percentage that he's hit out of the creeps that he can. This is an insane amount of CS for this safe lane drop. My control has to watch his positioning here. His level of gust. I think he may just be dead with that Malik on him. A couple more hits. Is he going to pop? He's going to try for the TP. I don't think he makes it. He's going to pop. Oh, the Ada Fairy Fire. TP'd an Ada Fairy Fire oh, instantly. Oh, shoot. I think he might. It was very close. Yeah, I do, very, very dude, close. I'm pretty sure if he didn't get that plus seven, yeah, he would have been donezo. That was quick fingers. Yeah. I barely even saw him buy it. Miracle Ooh. mid. He's got the raindrop now on Miracle, so he absorbs a lot of that uh, mi homing missile damage. But now, <laughs> Yapsor, shooting missiles at the mid lane, breaking those charges for mid one. There we go. Miracle. He is trying to dive in Miracle on this one. Leaps again out of the cooldown. Missile will connect one more leap. Has he got the right click? He has. We'll be able to get mid one before the homing <laughs> missile connects. GH coming across as well, just in case Miracle was in any further trouble. But he gets Is he going to keep shooting kill. missiles mid to break the raindrop? He is. He, t he, he eats the last raindrop. Oh, oh man. Yapsor. Now, Liquid's starting to, 
to level things back off after yep. a, a bit of a crazy start. Yeah, from 5-0 to 5-4 now. My control is the one that's really suffering though. He's oh. gusted again, and Puppy's here too. Oh, he's, he's dead this time. No fairy of fire will save that man with a maledict. He's trying, to, he's trying his best to regen. Bye-bye. <laughs> nah, he's gone. Rest in peace, mind control. Buys a mango before dying, so it doesn't lose too much gold. But yeah, another kill going for that safe lane. Secret. Yeah, this, this off lane Quaffers you say, just getting well and truly slaughtered. Yeah, seven last hits. That's yeah. the big difference here. Seven last hits on Quap, while Beastmaster has 36. I Kuro mean, now. He's, ooh, Puppy's got a haste rune. He's Duke, and Kuro's dead. Puppy walks in under three heroes, gets the kill on Kuro, and gets Man, out of there. This is, <laughs> oh my God. I mean, Puppy's Witch Doctor recently definitely has to be the sort of, sort of standout hero I feel that Puppy's been bringing out. Every game that he plays this Witch Doctor, he just seems to have an incredible time on it. It's 5-1-1. One, and one. <laughs> Yeah, so they're trying to make a cheeky move top with the roar with from Fada, but they're unable to close the gap on Tamatu just yet. Yeah, I'm still. Seeing if he can do this. He's a level 9 lone druid. As you say, with the positioning of Matu, it's very hard for them to make this play. Unless Matu massively overextends, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the, the case. Maybe if the 6 was there for Yapso. They're but, smoking. Uh, they're going to bottom. They want to kill Ace. They got to get my control some more levels. If they can get on top of the drought, they can certainly blow him up. Miracle. With the, the massive amounts of magical burst, but they have to get on top of it. TP's may come in reaction. We'll see how carefully Ace plays it. An arrow, leap forward, and a Starstorm following up a Fisher. Could do it. He might know something's up, though. Mid lane is completely empty. They're pinging him yeah, out. GH pinged him. knows that he stepped up because his smoke broke. Nah, I'm going to try. There's the Fisher. Miracle, arrow comes through with the jump forward from Miracle and Mind Control. They have enough burst. They take down the kill. Kuro trying for the TP out. We'll make it back to base. So, secret. Not losing. No, just losing Ace. They don't get a kill in return straight up. They are chasing down Miracle, but I don't think they've got any detection. No, Puppy. Nothing on him at the moment. Yeah, Absol. Let's get the blind knockback with the cogs onto Mind Control as the moonlight ends up. As secret as for now, unable to get a return kill. Mind Control's got blink back up. He should be safe. The missile's on him now, though. He's dead. Oh. Yeah, they've got vision of him. I thought he was going to be able to lead back out to safety, but looks like he leapt deeper and closer to the Tier 1 tower. Right on top of Puppy, too. The instant cask. Still, though, Matu's farm on top of it all. He's got the Midas stun. 1,600 gold on top of it as well. This is on par, on track to be a quick Radiance timing for the Lone Druid. So this is definitely the big worry for Secret, the fact that the Matu is is having no trouble at all this game. And look, we said this one's this liquid draft yeah. is not about just crushing the lanes. It's about that later game once they get the radiance online, radiance once they get the coddle on the Agnes. Oh yeah, I managed to get the catch on to GH and uh, nice. shake up the classic hero to struggle against the clock. Yeah. No way he can get himself out of that one. And the missile. Miracle working on the hawk. It's so tanky now. Miss uphill, it survives. Okay. How's Fada doing? Almost has book one. Bottom. Hey. Mind control. I'd say he's still doing a whole world better than Mind Control's Quap, who's yeah. just suffered massively on this bottom lane. What? Still just but level four on the off lane Queen of Pain. Yeah, bottom two net worth yeah. as well. It's not great for Quap. It's 11 minutes. That's... Yep. Yeah, they've really shut him down in this laning phase. Miracle. Trying for the arrow mid. Coming missiles out. Again, just harassment and... Burning through those infused raindrops. They both have Miracle going for the Dragon Lance this game. We're not going to see any sort of... Uh, of magical burst builders, it seems, that we've seen in some of the Muranas toying around with recently. So oh, trying to kill the missile. Oh, he kills it this time. He didn't get hit by it. Ace rune top as well that Miracle will be able to get his hands on by the looks of it. The third point in missile is usually the most valuable one because of that four hits it takes to kill. He actually only goes for two, so Miracle's actually able to kill it before it hits him a majority of those times. Haste. GH. Walking Shadow. under Ward Vision. There's a Moonlight Shadow now. There's a dust on Yapso oh, though. Oh yeah, Yapso's ready to turn. He's got the vision onto GH. Cooldown won't connect, but with the chase down from the battery assault, they don't need the ult from Jara to hit. That freshly placed ward. 
sees GH walking in. I know it straight away. Quick ping from GH. Yeah. He knows it's up there. Radiance top tower is under Relic almost online for Matu. This just continues to deep with the big problem for Secret. Yeah. They've got to do something about this lone druid before it's too late. Yeah, they also, like, with a drow lineup, you want to be able to get some towers too. Mind control bottom, gets gusted up. A couple hits, he should be fun. Level 6 attained now on my control, so maybe we'll see if Rotation come out to try to punish Ace. He's have got pretty TH. tanky though. And maybe between the two of them with the Sonic Wave, it, I mean, it would be close. There's definitely potential for him to turn around if, if any sort of TP comes in for secrets. So. If it's perfect under a Creep Wave, they might sure. have enough to burst him. But I think if he's on Strength Treads, the, he has 1,380 HP. My Control gets silenced again. The right clicks. My Control. Oh! He's not getting out of that. I mean, this lane down bottom has been an absolute nightmare for Mind Control. Top lane as well. Yup, Sword does able to make the close the gap onto Matuma Man, and this is the big one that Secret were looking for. They finally get that lone druid who's been having a very, very free start to this game. And this is where it gets scary. You know, Secret taking these kills, they have got an insane amount of push. They can take objectives like no tomorrow. They're doing a very good job with their with their supports, with the clockwork and witch doctor, just making the right rotations. They're getting all the early game items too. We see Yapsor has queued up the Spirit Vessel. Puppy's queued up Drum. They both almost have those items. I mean, the Puppy's well. So with the Treads and Drums, he is going to be a pretty beefy Witch Doctor. Yeah. Still a ways away though, because he has to. You know, he's going to be buying the wards and getting themselves vision in that lane. And all right, farm some creeps, I guess. How much gold did he get? Uh, I mean, he got a decent amount. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, he echoed for the creeps there, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, was... He, he was definitely, I, I mean, I, 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 yeah, he definitely wasn't looking for a hero. He was just farming, I guess. Wanted to clean up the uh, the Beastmaster army. Poppy now, though. My control. And Matu. They've found him. They got him. Poppy down. All right. That happens. Yeah, he wasn't near any hero. No, no, no. I mean, and there's no I mean, way he yeah, can still kill. That was literally an echo for creeps. <laughs> Echo for what? For Ace, ball space from down bottom. Shadow Blade will be the build after Dragon Lance. Completed okay. Spirit Vessel. Finished up on Yapsil. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It's nine and two on Drow Ranger. He hasn't played it since Danish Bears though. Nine and two on the Drow. Okay. Would you say this this patch is a, a good patch for some Drow straps? I mean, last pick Drow can work yeah. for sure. Yeah. Still strong. Might be a little bit harder when it's for us a team like Liquid, especially because they have a Coddle and a Shaker in their draft, so they can always like de-push. So usually as a Draw Ranger lineup, you'll be able to take some tier ones and go for that Roche, but... Ooh! Moonlight Shadow, and that, that little that hiccup... That was close. The, the pause to cast the Moonlight Shadow is what causes that hookshot to mix, and he had no leap charges left. Miracle was in deep trouble there, if that connected. That Another giving space to GH. So Liquid, they want to prioritize, get the Radiance, get Blink at the same time, and then they can start actually making more aggressive moves. The prize is mine. Yeah, then the moves become much harder for, for Secret themselves to make. They do not want to be jumping in close to yeah. Lone Tree of Radiance up top. Miracle should be fine. And that hook shot still unavailable for 30 seconds. Bottom lane, GH has got his eyes on to Ace. Ace just turns with the Gust. He's going to do a good job of bringing him down low. Does have to back up, though, because Matua Man's there, in fact, with a very... Very nice fish of lock from GH. Ace will be trapped and taken down. And if we get the kill to that Drow Ranger up top, Miracle being chased. If he gets lucky with the cast bounces, well, just gets like one. that. That, ooh, not quite enough there with the damage from the Death Ward. Didn't get enough channel time. He's trying with the right clicks. That is not going to be enough. Miracle Radiant's will bottom. survive there as Puppy dove. Oh, very that, deep. If that, flare, if that rocket hit, he might have rocket, actually died. I'm pretty sure he would have definitely Yeah, died. he would have died. Because he was at 90 yeah. HP and it would have hit before yes. the Maledict. And he didn't have any raindrops. Yeah. Matu is able to clean up bottom tower. That will be the Radiance. GH though gets hooked. He's dead. Oh, he's 300 gold from Blink Dagger. A nightmare bad. for a Shaker, it really is. Echo to, oh. Echo to distance himself. So, All right. He's live. All right. GH with some very inventive Echo usages. And I mean, like that one, absolutely worth it. As you say, saves the Blink Dagger gold. Gets you out of there. Because let's be honest, before that blink's there, you're not really looking to do anything with that echo anyway. With yeah, the, the positioning that Secret have had. Straight value. Yeah. Secret. Is that a book three going to be finished on 
Okay, it's just book two for right now for Fada, and he's almost got book three, and mid one now started working on Ancients. Yeah. So, a triple Ancient stack cleared up for the Gyrocopter. And we see how much Liquid is prioritizing defending this la these last two tier, tier ones. Kuroki and GH just sitting mid. Coddle Blast into Earthshaker Fissure. It's a thing people used to do in the past a lot, is you do the Coddle Blast and Shaker Fissures just to get the last hits on the Creep Wave so you can solidify your Blink Dagger faster. And that's exactly what they've been doing. That. GH will have that Blink finished in about 30 gold. And Radiance is done, so they've huh? got a pretty good timing coming out if they want to go for some type of smoke movement. Yeah, they definitely can. I mean, we've seen, you know, against the Drow Strat, any time that you're able to get on top of the Drow, you are going to feel pretty confident and take the team fight. Sure, there, yeah. there is sort of the, the sort of answer to that from Secret with heroes like the Gyro. You know, if you're trying to go in the Drow, there is going to be that cooldown, there's going to be that response from the Gyrocopter, which can be very hard to fight into. So Liquid... They might not... Even, they, might, they might not look for a 5-on-5, five five, I guess, yeah, at this stage. Yeah, they might not even, like, look for that because... They can take in, it late. Yeah, and in, in their minds, you know, they can take it late, and also in their minds, they're like, alright, Secret has to try to go for tower claiming. So if we just sit idle and passive and just keep spamming Illuminates until we have four stabs and stuff to distance ourselves. It can work really well. Kuro, though. Oh, yeah. Straight in the silence from Ace. Looks towards Kuro. Takes down the Coddle with the cooldown coming in. That's going to be Matuma Man getting blown up as My well. Micro, he in. blinked into that one and he may just pay the price with a Rocket Barrage from mid one. He'll bring down GH. Jump back. My controller has to be yes. careful. So there's a bit of time left on the Moonlight Shadow. Ace trying to close the gap. A Liquid lose three there in a very sort of awkward attempt to, to defend against Secret's fight. And That's... Fada's on with the split push. He's going to be able to claim a solo tier too. I have really like the Shadow Blade pick up for that exact reason. He walks up the hill, finds the yeah. Coddle, gets the kill, and that's going to lead them into cool. the tower. I mean, yes, Liquid were not expecting that Shadow Blade at all. Having Ace suddenly there, appearing in the mid lane. It's all over. And they should get this tower down as well. Tier 1 tower is falling. TP in front GH and Kuro. Mind Control there as well, looking to hold. So if they're going to be able to do so. They've got the missile onto Mind Control. Ace chasing him down, has the silence, cooldown, should connect onto the quad with the homing missile. Mind Control is gone. Now they'll get TH as well. Liquid starting to crumble. Miracle looking to leap away. They have the Spirit Vessel ticking him down. Oh, yes! Nearly gets it. Haste. 18 to 9 though, 5k. Oh, Secret continuing to, to just absolutely dominate this one. Miracle, last little sidestep, does avoid the rocket flare. But this push is getting scarier and scarier. Dyer's A successful team fight, another tier two down for Liquid. Father's got the Necro book three. Secret definitely playing at the pace and momentum they need to with this lineup to, to secure the win. And Liquid still struggling to put an end to it. We'll see this fight actually from earlier. Again, as you said, fogged with this Shadow Blade initiation. Just catching Liquid off guard. Perfect, yeah. Perfectly done by Ace and Yapsorn. My control blinks in pretty aggressively. But Lucky now. that he gets away. <laughs> yeah. They end up losing GH off the back of it. But now, secret. They get exactly what you need as a drought lineup. Yep. The Roche, but the Fear comes out. The Age is still on the floor. Mid one's able to claim it. Yeah, and they'll get the bear kill as well by looks of it. Ooh, GH though. Comes in with the Echo onto two. Will be able to take down Fada. Liquid, they're trying to take this despite losing the rush on the ages, and I'll tell you what, it's working. They find days. They're taken down too. It does cost them the life of mind control. Miracle's able to pick off a third as he finds Puppy. Yapsaw traps in GH. So Secret do lose a fair few heroes to be fair off the back of getting that Aegis and Roshan. But they, they do protect the Aegis and keep it on mid one for that one. So Liquid, even though they get three kills out of that, I think still overall. Secret's going to be happy. They, they can reset. They can make this push with the Aegis once their team's back alive. And Liquid, they just need a little bit more than that to, to swing this game back around. As Secret's still definitely with the driving driving control. And with the, I mean, all the auras. Aura drafts, really nice to be able to push towers. You get one, win one team fight, you get one or two towers. And that is a big fear factor for Liquid that they've lost mid lane and top lane already for the outer, outer towers. Miracle now has Manta finished up. He's still doing really well. After dying that first time in the mid lane, he has six kills off the back of it. And as we see there, yeah, Fada did choose to go for the uh, experience gain on the Beast Beastmaster. Nice, of course, with the yes. stats and the attack speed. Level 15 mm -hmm. as he hits it. Very close to having Arcane Pie complete. Oh, can he get out of the nope. cap? Too much damage from Ace. Bullseye. GH has to be careful. 
Bottom lane, Yapstraw. Yeah. Set up on to Kuro. Just managed to knock Yapstraw out of the cogs. Kuro, can he keep himself alive? The Spirit Vessel ticking him down. The rest of the team moving in, but Yapstraw claims the kill with the Rocket Flare. May pay with his life, though. Matsu and Miracle do take him down. Two for two trade. Kuro's happy about that one. Yeah, definitely so. So it's for, for the kills, you know, Matsu gets some more money in the pocket, getting that Yapsaw kill. And now Liquid, they themselves in perfect position to push down on the bottom lane. And they may not have the Drow lineup, but they still have a lot of push themselves with the Lone Druid. And the attack speed from that Mirana. Yep. Missile inbound. Can they get it in time? Oh, quick. Just in time. Gets the missile. How high? Matsu has, I believe the Vlads is almost finished up for himself. Oh, Ace. He's looking to set this up. They've got Bada here as well. He is not getting out of that one, Matumba Man. A secret. I mean, they were pushing top. Matumba Man didn't seem... Uh, he just goes in for the jungle creeps, and he pays the price. No one was there to back him up. Ace is doing so much work with the Shadow Blade. Yeah. They're finding a lot of pickoffs just because of the vision game. The Hawk plus that Shadow Blade. Really useful to build. Also, pierce the back lines on the towers. That's also one of the big things is... How they got those two towers mid is because of that vision aspect. And now they're looking to go high ground. Or at least threaten high ground for a bit, force some reaction back. But it's versus a Coddle, it's versus a Shaker. They're going to spam the wave out pretty hard. They're doing their best to hold back this push. Fortification does have to come out there from Liquid. As mid one continues to man up on the high ground, pushing in. Using this Aegis, they have the hook shot from Yap, so into the knockback from the Cogs. Beautiful play from Yap. Easily sets up for the dispatch of Mind Control's life, and Mind Control has to back up. GH! Oh my god, they're gonna get the racks Yeah, too. but that Maledict and Death Wall from Puppy, there's no shaker for 30 seconds. Mind Control, he's had to buy back for this one, throws out the Sonic Wave, but it's not enough damage for Secret to really care at all as they're healing up from the Voodoo Restoration. They do lose the Aegis and Fada, but they got what they came for. They find the melee racks. Nibbon's still eyeing up Miracle, the missile won't connect. Miracle's able to take it down in time. But they back off, they get the objective done, and secret, they've just got to chill out, rinse and repeat. That's massive there it's, for them. The yeah. first use of the Aegis and they get a Rax, that's incredibly good. 9k gold lead. Saw a Puppy walk up the hill there, throw out the Cask and the Maledict on GH, not letting him get that initiation. They're really nice plays as well from Yap. You know, as you see, they're just selflessly hookshotting into the midst of yeah. it all and securing that quick pick off to start the push. Oh, oh, he does. Ace. He's got the detection. Ace should be in a whole world of trouble here. There's many more heroes ready to come in and lock him down. GH and Kuro. That's my man joining him for a bit of XP. I must divert Kuro gets that kill, kill bounty. So four staff finished on Kuroki. Probably going to go for the Aghanims next. They need more for four staffs. GH is cute enough as well. But Yaps was putting in so much work with these hook shots. Bottom lane. Bot is hunting. Oh, and he's got the raw. Necro hooks out. Miracle has that secondary leap. And that will be enough movement speed to get him out of there. Middle lane. This combo, again, the cogs into cooldown. Causing a lot of issues for Matuma Man. He's trying to get out of this, but the Maledict's out. We might just survive. They ain't got them. No, they've got nowhere close to get the rock. Ooh! And the Spirit Vessel is in. Oh, it is! Oh, Yapsa! Getting the damage in at the last millisecond. With what, with it, both the Spirit Vessel and the Rocket Flare. And that Spirit Vessel not, too, like yeah. he, when he TP's home. Oh, you're screwed. Get the, he doesn't get the regen from the fountain That much. regen is gonna do nothing for you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we said damage. it before, we'll say it again, Yapsor is is having an absolute wonder of a game on the clock. This, I mean, look at this, got 8 to 11. He has been doing so much on this clockwork. I thought he was going to have some. I, I thought he I mean, might yeah, struggle we, a bit, but yeah. he really, he's been playing incredibly well on it. This is, I mean, yeah, as you say, looking at the draft from the start, sure, it's great against the Shaker, but there's a lot of problems elsewhere. Apparently, not in Yapsaw's world. Nope. I mean, Jeez. my control is. Yeah. I've like, rarely seen my control have games like this. He's sure. three and seven. He's queued up an Aeon disc on a Queen of Pain oh, after the no. Veil, so you can tell how much he's really struggling. In the last Roki. time I saw an Aeon disc was the when uh, Optic. Play carry on the night. You know it's you know it's going. The game's going a bad way when the um, discs come out. The vision game for my secret though has been probably the biggest thing for me this game. 
They have Warrens placed in very good positions. The Rockets to scout, as well as Fada and Ace's positioning with the Shadow Blade and Hawks. It's been, it's been really a treat to see. And now they get the scan out on the side. It seems like they always know where Liquid's position. Yeah, Yapster with the flare as well. It gives the vision of GH, and here's the man himself and all his glory straight in onto the Shaker, and GH is down. My control now too. Uh, he's not getting out of that one. I mean, this game, I know also with the series, game one was an absolute stomp in favor of Team Liquid. This one less so over the side of Secret because you do look, Matuma Man and Miracle are still farming up a tree, but the momentum that Secret are getting, you know that if Secret win one team fight off the back of a push, they're going to be able to clean up the base. And certainly Liquid are up against Megas. And with their lineup, that is a very tricky situation to be in. Secret, yeah, they're definitely, they're, they're one fight away from victory if they can pull it off. Let's see how Liquid can put a stop to that from happening though. Tier three on the bottom lane, down to half health, forcing back the bear. Constant spam from Kuro, but as you can see for the most part, Secret don't seem to care as the tier three is nearly down. Fortification does come out. Mid one, back in, takes the tower. These pushes continuing to come through from Secret, and despite the tools that, that you would think the Liquid have to de-push, it doesn't seem to matter with the, the items that Secret have. They're 12k ahead. It's Pipe now finished on Yap, so that's going to make these pushes even easier against the yeah. Illuminate. It's, it's getting very hard for Liquid. The it's pressure sheer, is on. Sheer amount of damage that Secret does. Like, okay, there, they, they yep. shake their blast and take out the creep wave, but in the time that they do that, Secret already takes like three quarters of a tower out, and they're smoked up again, Secret, every single time. They back up, get a nice rinse repeat with the smokes and just use their vision and abuse it. Yeah. They see Miracle in the mid lane with the Hawk. Clear another wave. Yep, so it's gonna, going to look for some sort of an angle. But the hookshot does fight. Oh, finds Kuro on the sidelines and he'll, t he'll certainly take that as a way to start the fight. Forces forward, quick Fisher. He's got the backup from Fada just in case Liquid do turn on him, but he is a beefy clockwork. Yeah, how do you kill? This guy's got 2400 oh, HP. He just the hook shot, in fact, right away onto the sidelines, finding Kuroki. Does tank the arrow. Kuro still alive for now. Miracle jumps forward, and with the burst from Microsoft, they should be able to get this clockwork, and they do. They end the streak of Yapsor. Miracle now godlike. They cost them Kuro's life. In the back lines, mid one. He's having to TP out. And he is not going to arrow. make it. Arrow from Miracle. Miracle starting to clean up big time. Double kill for this Marana. Vada on the retreat, but look at this jump forward from GH. He's trying to cut them off. Quick paralyzing cask and the Maledict, though, puts an end to GH's life. Miracle's still going to be able to jump forward, looking for Ace. Ace trying to get out of there. Fada comes in, attempting to draw their attention away, but it's not going to work. Miracle just turns, takes Fada's life. Ace will fall, and Secret, they're going to get team wiped here. Puppy, the last one left, surrounded by Mind Control, Matuma Man, and Miracle, and Liquid. Striking back hard. Miracle now, top of the net worth. That just fell apart massively for Secret. And to be fair, as much as we've been talking up Yapsor's play, his committal there sort of pulled Secret into a very awkward position to fight on the low ground in the exactly. river, where Liquid had this perfect position to just come in with Miracle and clean up. They got really split up. It's yeah. Exact, yeah, that's exactly what happened. So Liquid, they get the DD rune, and Midwin tries to walk in through them, but Matu and Miracle just absolutely crush him when he's trying to walk in. Ace wasn't able to actually get into the fight and oh. do damage. Can Yap go for the steal? He's looking for he's it. Look, Matuma Man, look at him blocking it, though. He's sitting there in the shadow. Oh, Matuma Man, what a play there with the Moonlight and himself just blocking it, making sure that Yapsor can't get the, the steal, and now Yapsor, he's being jumped up on there, trying to chase. Mind Control being held back by the cast. Giving himself alive with the heel, cool down from mid one comes through, but Mind Control's already blinked out. Miracle on the front lines, manning up, bringing Yapsor down low. He's got the Aegis ready for round two. Secret backing away, and they will escape. But very, yeah, just very neat play there from Matu. Under the night vision as well, we saw it. That, uh, but Secret, they they couldn't see it. Just keep himself out of it. Who used the cheese? I think Mind Control did. Mind Control yeah, did. Yeah, he was okay. getting gone. Right, yeah, that's what I thought. I, was like, I didn't get to see the burst heal. Yeah. Aeon Disc finished on him. But yeah, Matu's positioning there was absolutely perfect to yeah. block that hook shot. But yeah, that sequence of events from Liquid, that is a big swing. It's turning it around. 6k gold and all the experience is now in favor of Liquid, actually. Yeah, Secret were definitely in that position when we saw down bottom that they were, they were one successful fight away from potentially just taking the game. But now, 
with those last two series of events, they're they're going to need more than just one fight to get to get that victory in the bag. Now, yeah. Liquid are recovering, and as we said from the start, with this lone druid, and to be fair, with the Mirana as big as Miracle is, it's only going to get harder the longer this game goes on. Secret needed to ride that momentum if they wanted an easy win here. They buy a gem now on Secret. The Moonlight Shadow has been putting in too much work in the fights. It's all about that vision. Ace is starting to fall a bit behind. He's been sitting on the Shadow Blade and Hurricane Pike for quite a while, but has the Butterfly queued up and it's not too far away. Something he'll really need. I think he might need a BKB, honestly. It's looking pretty hard for him to get into the fights. As soon as they see him, he just gets bursted. And Kuroki actually buys himself a gem to be able to do that. To, to see wherever Ace is positioned. Let's see what they can get out to now. Level 20. Um, Fada picks up, of course, the, the axis extra damage. wild axis damage. So they have got a, an insane amount of D push secret once uh, Liquid do come forward and try and make the pushes happen themselves. Radiant which for now scanning. hasn't been too much so. They've, they've poked to the Radiant tier 2s on the sidelines. They do now have the assault crash on the two man, so. Both teams are so afraid right now. Yeah. They see nothing you, on the map. Liquid's in the yeah. base, Secret's in the base. Miracle's like, all right, I'll, I'll poke my head up here. And they both know that if you lose a fight, you are losing a lane, almost certainly. Or at least having to expend multiple buybacks. That's for sure. A miracle. What a game this man's had. Yeah, he's been cr absolutely crushing it after that first death. 12 kills in a row. And the farm has been absolutely beautiful for Moran. Yeah. Secret just can't allow themselves to get any further behind. BKBs are the key for Secret right now. Yeah. They don't get chain disabled by the Shaker. Mid one picks one up himself. Kuros is, is closing in on that Aghanim Scepter as well. I just realized something. GH is 1 in 11 this game. He has three more deaths than Mind Control, but the next person after that is six. It's been a tough game. I mean, he is playing against the clock, you know. Yeah, and it's yeah, it's it's pretty hard. And it's a hard game to play the shaker. A lot of vision as well, so it's hard for him to get the position yeah. for him to get those spells off. But I mean, not even just the clock. It's it's the cask. Like Witch Doctor Cask has been putting in so much work in these team fights. Yeah. Like it, it, I, I just, you look at this game, and you know that when that when the team fights happen, it's like sure the shaker can get in, but there is very little way that he can get out. If he's yeah. getting his spells off, if he's making that committal to fight. He's almost certainly going to be losing his life in the midst of it all with, with the amount of damage just flying around from Secret. Liquid's going for a smoke out now. Their mid wave isn't really in the greatest spot, so someone does have to show, and it is Miracle. Let's see what they could do with this smoke. Secret is very split up at the moment. There is no vision on the map, at, well, though, for Liquid. They have to get some wards down before they take this engagement. They should see the lifesteal coming out on Miracle. They should see the Vlad's aura if Secret's paying attention. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. sort of pings it out. Instant ping. So they know that Liquid is smoked on top of Miracle. And with that in mind, not looking to make any sort of drastic leap in with a hook shot. Mm -hmm. They'll play it cool, butterfly completed for Ace. Incoming. So they can make sure that, that that aura doesn't go away and he keeps himself at the back. Mid one is going to be pumping out a lot of damage. Yeah. A lot of right clicks in these fights. Matsu's been doing this for like the last three or four minutes, just sending his bear to split push the waves. Mm -hmm. So he cuts out top wave with that bear with the radiance. My control blinks in oh, for the oh, rune. Miracle. <laughs> bit, of a, bit of an awkward leap there. He does manage to get out with all three of them. But it sort of leaps in and leaps out. Some panic. Pops the moonlight. How's Kuro's Ags doing? Yes. He's still 20, he's still like uh, 1400 gold away from it. But he is the five card also. It will always take a while for that one. One of the big items do we have coming out? Boots of Travel finished up on Beastmaster, so he can't set up for those plays. D push and then TP to his team, but Liquid now getting on the aggressive for the first time in a very long time. Actually be able to hit a tower. Let's see what they can get done here. I mean, their push, as we said, is very, very quick with that AC, the damage, the the build the Miracle has. Just focusing on the right click. The 20, that extra rapid attack speed as well on the Tumor map. Tower is gone. Liquid instantly out, ready to prepare for the defense. They know that they have to come back each and any time. Any sort of push is looking to, to have the chance of coming through from Secret. A Secret will 
will trash the base with this Drow Gyro push. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. MKB, the next item for Miracle, really needs it for yeah. these double butterflies. Just if, just any type of way to. Well, what's that mind invasion. control going for after the Eon disc? Dyer's he just queued up the Kaya. the Kaya. Okay. okay. He already has that one big defensive. Yeah, and Kaya is such a value item on. Yeah. Oh, pretty much as we're seeing at the moment, Dyer's just any any int here, has fallen. any spellcaster. He's, he's still so poor though. 9,500 net worth. Clockwork is a thousand gold ahead of him. And the Aeon, disc, the Aeon Disc can prove to be pretty nice versus the Beastmaster Roar and Gust. If they both get applied on him at the same time, it can remove that sure. status effect. Now bottom, they managed to finally catch on to Miracle. If they got the potential to kill him, the Clutch Gust comes out without silence. That's... I mean, that's everything, but that's him down for 100 seconds. The that's dream the would be important. if they can force out the buyback. And with the pushing power they have, I think they've got a pretty good chance at it. I mean, can, I, I don't know, Liquid, they do have good D-push, so maybe they won't need Miracle for the defense, but if Secret can get that buyback out of them, that is a huge win. Yeah, they need to, Liquid has to just spam out the waves with the yeah. Coddle and try to cut them with the Lone Druid. Kuroki though, oh, if they might get spotted out here, he can't die. I was gonna say, if they lose Kuro as well. Hook shot up in five seconds, Yapsaw. He's got it in three. Can he hit it? It is gonna have to be blind. He's not gonna try. No, it's too tough. Not gonna try, it's too hard. Potter though, focusing on pushing out the lanes. Same thing with mid one, he pushes out mid. And look at look at Matu's position. He knows he has to just go for the rat top for a bit. Yeah, try and but force them off this. But good's in. They're yeah, trying to force the buyback. How can they stop this? Jump four from mind control. Looking for mid bomb. These racks. They died. They're, they're going. I mean, they may just accept that these ones are lost. Oh, Eon disc for mind control. We're seeing if it does enough to save him. And no, nope. that's your Eon disc. It, no, did not help whatsoever. He's still dead. He's down for seventy. Miracles had to buy back. They claim the range racks. Ace does get jumped upon. Gh, at the end one man echo slam. Slides himself back up. Mid one actually goes up to the high ground. Feeling very, very confident. He may pay for this one, though. Miracle, looking to turn on him. Has the triple arrow. They get the knockback as well. Bring him in one up to the high ground. But he pops the BKB. Oh, he just turns. GH. Falling very low. We'll get out with the Moonlight Shadow. But that Death Ward and Malady, that's going to bring Miracle down very low. He's going to pop. That's a, that's a dieback. Puppy Witch Doctor. Those sort of plays late game Maledict at just all stages of the game. That spell is absolutely redonkulous. How much you can do, and as you say, that, that is 95 seconds. No Marana. They managed to clean out the bottom lane. Only the top lane of Rack stands. Can Liquid really hold without their without their mid laner for over a minute against this sort of pushing power that Secret have? It's going to be really tough for them. They tried to go for the rat with Matu in that top lane, but Gap, they just, Secrets at such an advantage, especially with those auras, they push so much faster. And then this is the thing I guess we're seeing, you know, with, with Muranas, it's, you have such a lot of offensive potential. Sure, the leap's nice, but at the end of the day, you are not the beefiest of heroes Mid at all. Mid He's getting comboed. Oh, well, uh, that's the push gone. I mean, Yapsa's going to still try and commit, just come in with a hook shot, pulls down the cogs, but the roots up there, Onto Puppy, they've got to get back out of this one, but the bashes are coming through. Puppy, he's just going to get brought down low. Can Mind Control finish off the kill? It doesn't look like he can for now. GH does go down, will buy back. Oh, the cast bounces there between Mind Control and Matuma Man causing issues. They're actually buying back here to try and finish this one off. The full five man, sieging in. Mind Control jumping forward, instantly gets disarmed though, and that overcommittal will cost him his life. 20 seconds until Miracle's back up, but they are going to get Mega Creed. Secret just clean up the top lane. Second bear dead too. The bear is down. They're just going to continue pushing on. 15 seconds to Miracle's back, but I don't know what Miracle can do against this sort of pushing power. They may... No, they can't even give it a try. It's all over. GG is called Secret. Ah, GH gets the... <laughs> the last, <laughs> it was a big echo. The last deck on all It was nice. But what a, what a play. What a game for Secret. What a turnaround as well from game one where they got absolutely battered. But game two, they pulled through the Drown Strat. Yapsor had an incredibly clean opening to this game, and we saw very early on, he was making so many plays on this clockwork, and it was just impossible for Liquid to deal with. They tried their best, you know, Matsuma Man and Miracle.